Hey guys, what's up? It's Melka Zunky. So, anyway, I changed my name and I got my stats kind of reset for botting, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually on my other account that I have not played on in quite a while. Um, well, actually, I played on a little bit last night and I got to 30 divination last night, which was kind of awesome. But anyway, yeah, I've just been playing on this account because it's freaking awesome, man. Yeah, this is what I do when I get a little bit bored of my main. I hop on here and uh, make some adjustments to the skilling progress. So anyway, um, I do have kind of like a series where I made, I believe, like seven videos or so with this account. And some of you may have seen that, some of you may have not. I know I have gained quite a few subscribers since making that series. Um, it was called like Road to Max Cape again or something like that. But anyway, um, I kind of quit this account. There is various reasons, mostly because um, I didn't have the time to play on it. I didn't have the motivation to play on it. I didn't want to pay for membership for an account I wasn't using, etc., etc., etc. And also, I couldn't because I kind of lost control of this account because the email got completely messed up. And I don't want to go into that. It was a huge, huge pain to get back. But yeah, I emailed Jagex like 10 times and they finally fixed the problem. So uh, I finally got this account back recovered because I basically lost control of the email this, that this account was tied to. So anyway, that was interesting. So I got to 30 divination on this account. And um, I guess since I just barely started playing again and I don't want to go for anything major what I kinda of wanted to do is just get this account to 70 all stats so that would include um, getting runecrafting to 70 divination hunter uh, thieving agility mining and I, yeah I believe that's everything everything else is already 70 um, because I did put a little bit of time into this already uh, of course my best skills are prayer and woodcutting and if you watched my um, my series where I was going over the you know levels of this account, basically a Road to Max Cape series, you'll see why. But uh, for the most part, this bank is pretty cleaned out. I have, um, let's see, 4 mil cash. And in here, I have like a BGS, I have RMs, I have a Dragon Hatchet, and that's it. There is nothing else in the rest of this bank. It's all pretty much worthless. Um, everything else is definitely worth like maybe a couple hundred K in a few items, but that's about it. Um, and also I have a Charming Imp, which I'm pretty proud of. That's my only Dungeonary item so far. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to, I guess, run around and do some random stuff and record if I find anything interesting to do. So I just did a farm run. I guess I had a Lanta Dimes planted for some reason, but I planted Aventos because Aventos are the way to go. But that price checks to 160 k That's actually quite a bit. I wasn't expecting that much. But anyway, um, I decided what I'm going to do. If we just go to the quest list here, what I've decided is I want to get to... Where is it? Where is it? Right here? No? Here? Yes. Okay, so I want to do King of the Dwarves. Um, I... It requires a whole ton of quests, um, including like Forgiveness of the Chaos Dwarf and My Arms Big Adventure. I know My Arms Big Adventure is really, really annoying because you have to do a whole bunch of um, some mini game before you can actually complete the quest. And I also, yeah, I, there's basically a ton of requirements. But anyway, um, to do all the quests, the only skills I need are 77 Strength and 61 Hunter, and I don't believe I can boost them. I know for a fact I can't boost 77 Strength, because I looked up the guide. So um, that's two Strength levels and five Hunter levels, and so I guess I'm going to bang those out today. The Strength might take a little bit, but I'll just do it through Slayer, so that shouldn't be too rough. Um, and yeah, so I guess that should be a little bit fun to watch. Watch some Slayer. You guys up for that? I know I sure am. Alright, let's get a new task. Hopefully it's something good. Let's see what it is. Iron Dragons. Um, Well, you can't really melee those, but I guess that I'll do them. I unfortunately don't have 4k Slayer points on this account. I have Blue Dragons and Red Dragons cancelled apparently. Um, As soon as I get 70 agility, I'm going to be uncancelling Blue Gra Dragons because those are great money. And I guess I still need to learn how to craft Rings of Slain, and I still need to learn how to fetch, fetch broad arrows and bolts. That's really not a priority, but the Rings of Slain are super, super useful, so I guess I should probably be saving these points. Alright, well, I'm almost done with this task, and uh, obviously it's been quite a while since I've, you know, killed Iron Dragons, or, you know, any dragon without being able to use Super Anti-Fire, so I'm not able to use a shield or anything. And honestly, it's kind of fun um, doing some Newbie Slayer. Uh, I remember like well I'm already 76 Slayer on this account so I've done quite a few tasks but um, they've all been pretty newbie tasks and I've just been using Simona as my Slayer Master and like I can't use Curadil's Dungeon 
I need 160 combat for that. I have the Slayer level, but I just need 160 combat, and at the moment I'm 148 combat, so yeah, I have a ways to go for that, but anyway, um, I think I made a little bit of money. I got some Rune Limbs, I got Tooth and Loof Path, Rune Battle Axe, all these Dragon Bones, and some charms as well. Of course, you know, uh, Iron Dragons are quite nice charms. They drop a lot of greens, which aren't that useful, but the crimsons and golds are pretty useful because I'm still a very low summoning level. It's just so weird not having a yak and not having super anti-fires and not having dry gores. It makes Slayer um, definitely a lot slower, but a lot more fun at the same time. So I guess I, I'll kind of show you this tab here. This is my Slayer tab. Um, when I stopped playing this account a little while ago, I think I had a couple pretty decent items in this tab and I sold them. So... I had like a large stack of blue dragon bones, or I mean blue dragon hides and dragon bones and stuff, and I sold them. But anyway, yeah, this is my Slayer tab. Uh, what's left of it? I just basically didn't sell anything in here that wasn't worth a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, not much left in there. But we're going to go Telly to Simona and get a new task, which is conveniently my house is in Paldemanich, so that's how I get there. Just teleport to there and hopefully this is a task that gives good melee XP so that I can train to 75 strength because that's kind of the entire reason I'm slain but anyway Simona I can't wait to use Curdle by the way um, it's just so nice being able to use Curdle's dungeon honestly dust devils okay those give pretty good melee XP so I'm gonna do them and that's in Edgeville but anyway I'll gear up and I guess talk to you guys again when I'm there all right, I'm here, and this place actually looks really, really nice on high detail, and I forgot potions, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference anyway. So, um, I didn't bring any food, but I've, as you guys know, I do have Soul Split on this account. If you watched, yeah, the series that I kind of did regarding this account, so that is super helpful for Slayer. And I just gotta say, this BGS is great and all for the time being, but I can't wait until I get um, 80 attack and then I'm going to try to get myself some dual chaotic claws it won't take that long to do the dungeoneering for it I mean I'm already 77 DG so I mean the really really slow low level stages are already done so it shouldn't take long at all to actually get um, the dungeoneering tokens that I need to get the chaotic claws and as soon as I get those Slayer will start for real so I'm, I'm kinda pumped for that but uh, anyway I don't have any, I mean, there's no real good dual weapons at um, 75 attack because a god sword is much better than a whip. So um, you can use a whip dual wield, but the god sword is just better, even though dual wield has better abilities. Normally, dual wield is better, but I mean, this just has a lot more attack and damage and all that. So, anyway, um, I guess that's about all for this video. I don't have a whole lot else to say. I'm probably going to just keep slain today and try to get 77 strength. I mean, I have. Uh, quite a few hours to play today because I didn't work a very long shift at work, so um, I probably should be able to get 77 strength today and then maybe start working on all those quests I need tomorrow. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, if you want to see more videos from this account, let me know. If you'd rather not, you can uh, let me know that as well. But anyway, I just figured I would play a bit on this account and, uh, of course, on my main as well. I'm not quoting that or anything, but yeah, farewell and goodbye.